Hello again folks, welcome to Arkham Reactor and continuing the festive season of reactions. Another really nice Christmas carol for you. <laughs> what do we have? We have Nia Bliss... Uh, oh shit. <laughs> <laughs> Nia Bliviscaris by any chance? Yes, that one. I thought, yes, see, Big G's better at pronunciation the track, than I am. The track Equus. Yes, the track is Equus. Right, there we go. So they're, uh, they're from Australia, so we've got a five-man band of progressive metal. And that's what we were sent in by uh, Hold Tight anyway, so let's see what the song's all Good about. Good stuff which coming out of Australia. They seem to be a bit of a metal powerhouse down in the aye, region. Aye, aye. So let's see what they're about. Let's go. Bass. That's already like God, this song was about 12 minutes long, right? But even then... What? what? It's what? 12 minutes long, right? Jesus. But at the same time, this is pretty much everything I want in a fucking song. This it's is what... gorgeous, man. It's... It is gorgeous. I've just... Uh, I'm not even headbanging to it. I'm just sitting back man. and listening. It's just a nice groove, man. It's bass heavy, right? Oh, that bass is so... So tasty sounding, and it doesn't take over the whole mix. No, it doesn't. You know, it's just it's so well put in the mix that you can still hear those acoustics, you know, and the string section as well. I'm just sitting, the vocals, of course, but I'm just sitting listening to the vocals. And I'm going, beautiful. damn, he's got set of pipes. It's not mm. even power. It's more. That's just. Also, that's just. Con that's just control. Yeah. And it's just delightful. That's the only way I can describe it. Well, they've instantly earned a spot in my Spotify. <laughs> yeah. Instantly. So, just for that 
just for that bass work alone. So f- no, just so far, this is seeming to be one of the best songs it, I've heard all year. Good stuff. Uh, as uh, that's a, a really big surprise for me. Mm, that's very good. Anyway, we're gonna shut up. I'm gonna listen to him some more. So let's go. In fact, I'm gonna go back. Uh, ten seconds. Let's go. Seven about this is just top notch. The song's just nuts. This is incredible. <laughs> it's just got. A... Honestly, <laughs> this is absolutely incredible. Bassline's just so tasty. Right. Then you've got the guitars are just plowing on like they should be, and they're, they're actually doing some. If you just listen to some nice wee bits that they've done. The drums are just going wild. And then you've got the violins coming in just at the right moment. Perfectly a timed. Violin, a violin solo as well. I know. It's very rare. A violin solo and then followed by a bass solo. I mean... That's it. This is like some... This just of, makes me smile. Some version of Mozart <laughs> that they've become. It's... It's weird. Yeah, it's picking every box. It really is. That's... And then the deep growls have came in, which I'm thoroughly enjoying too. So... Mm-hmm. The, the, I like, I'm like i really liking the contrast between the how the cleans were at the start and now how the grills are now. And I bet mm-hmm. you some form again that they're going to switch around again and it will come then the cleans then go back to the grills. I, I hope so anyway. Because then that's a, just a good contrast. I'm sure whatever they do it's going to be phenomenal. Uh-huh. Judging by... I mean, it's not even halfway through. Yeah, so it's, it's got bound to be... It's bound to go up another level, probably. So, let's I see. I so. Yeah, let's go.
acoustic guitar? Nuts. What did we say? What did we say about that? I've not got much. 
I just, I just... No, I don't have much either, and that's not a bad thing in this in this case. I don't have much to say because what do you say? What what do you actually judge in this one? Because everything was done near enough. It's like you've got there's there's a good level mm -hmm. of you know. Holy shit, that's good. This was up there. Mm. I've got to say, it's got to be <clears throat> anyway. That was just everything, absolutely everything about that track was just phenomenal. I'm a huge fan of them clean, so yeah. And I'm not usually, for to say the least, a fan of male cleaned in that register, but they Same were here. but they were executed. Just like, all the cleans, because I mean, you're not just talking about the vocals, the guitars were clean, you know, it had acoustics, it had mm. violin, yeah, it had natural sounding violins, they weren't like processed in any way. Mm. It was just, it was as if it was just a room mic and that violin, and it was just singing, you know, it was like, almost like a western touch to it, mm. you know, the violins, it had that kind of. Wild West folk yeah. sound. That's what that, that's what I was gonna start pointing at in a minute. The the yeah. viol is, Do you know was... where that that whole thing would suit very well and see how like a well I'm gonna say this and probably I'm gonna get hate for it, but see if you put that band probably at the top with like your your folk metal people, many people are gonna go there, especially just with that one song, and they're gonna they're gonna absolutely love it because what's not to love. I mean, I don't know if that's if that's their niche, you know. Yeah, exactly. Like, oh, we've only we've only we've only, only heard one. one track, you know. Yeah. So it might just be this one track that has that kind of element to it, but it it's beautiful no matter what. The, musically, it reminded me of kind of the stuff I was listening to said in, the, in one of the other videos about. It reminded me of the early nineties. Mm. So did this one. So did this, because it reminded me of bands like Death, mm -hmm. Death and Peace Chuck, um, Pestilence, Cynic, you know, mm. and all of that kind of old school death metal mixed in with the kind of, kind of new sound, you know, production wise as well and vocals. Because like the the old school death never had any cleans at all. It was just all out balls out, you mm. know, growls the whole way through. But I mean that that was just gorgeous. It's gonna be one. Of, it's gonna be kind of top two for me of this year so far. There's not been any. Nobody's really released anything this year though. So that's kind of it's the thing where if you're, I think next year's could be more of a. A lot of bands are going to start releasing albums next year than rather this year. But this year alone, Lawn Their Shores just topped everything. This one, this one comes up there. Goes on, go, goes on to that kind of everyone should know this because Lawn Their Shores obviously being recognised for their, their triumphs this year. But well, I'm definitely going to be listening to them more often. I can tell you that much. It was just a absolute banger. Mm -hmm. Enough said. And that's where we'll leave it. Because if you want to know who the Obliviscaris is, then go check them out. Because, see, I got it. Anyway, folks, see you in the next one. <laughs>